and welcome to your show. I am your host, Casey Star Long. And look, I'm just so glad that God has led you to join us for another broadcast of Inspired Overflow. You know, every time I like come into the studio, I just think of like the faithfulness of God. This broadcast has been on the air for six years and it's totally by God's grace. Grace. And so, listen, I want to just welcome you once again to Inspired Overflow. If this is your first time ever listening to our radio broadcast, we're more than just a radio show. This is a ministry designed to help you live your best life with Jesus Christ. And so we try to do that in a variety of different ways. And so every now and again, we invite just great guests to come on our show and to just share, share their stories of faith and also to share what God is doing in their lives. And so I'm really excited about our guests. And I also want to give a shout out for all of you that are watching us live on Facebook. We just got to give just a great shout to each and every one of you that are watching us on our live stream through our Facebook ministry page, Inspired Overflow. Also, I want to recognize our church sponsors for the month. They are Haven House, City of Refuge, where the pastor is Michael Folks and the first lady is Phyllis Folks. They've been just generous supporters of this ministry. And so we just say a big God bless you to those two and to the entire Haven House family. And maybe you're looking for a place to worship. You can join Haven House every Sunday morning at 1030 a.m. They are located at 8786 North Broadway in St. Louis, Missouri, 63147. And then Pastor Michael Folks, he's teaching a dynamic word on Tuesdays, which is when they have their Bible study at 7 o'clock. Now today, I'm really excited about our guest. We have two women here. Mm -hmm. They're part of Agape Time Ministries, which is a ministry that is dear to my heart. And I want to welcome them back to the Inspired Overflow Radio Show because it's not their first time. So without further ado, I want to welcome Prophetess Pamela Dillon. Hello, Pastor Casey. How are you today? I'm doing great. Welcome back to Inspired Overflow. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. And also, Miss Cassandra. <laughs> Welcome back to Inspired Overflow. Well, thank you, Pastor Casey. I love your show. But I love your spirit even more. So oh, thank you. Yes, wonderful, wonderful. So I'm so excited about having you guys here. And I know in the past we've had conversations about the Daughters Retreat. And so mm -hmm. you guys are back to talk about the upcoming Daughters Retreat, which is taking place in St. Louis on March the 21st through the 25th. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. this conference is so dynamic mm -hmm. that we got a whole show just <laughs> to talk about what God is going to do at this conference. And you know, mm -hmm. Pastor Pam, you're an author, you're mm -hmm. a prophetess, you're mm -hmm. a mentor, oh, you're a what? spiritual mom, mm -hmm. you're a pastor, um, and God has given you this ministry, you and your husband, this ministry called Agape Time Ministries. Tell us about the, the purpose of Agape Time Ministries. The purpose of Agape Time is to produce and promote healthy leaders, and it is um, through mentorship and fellowship. So uh, the beauty of Agape Time is that uh, Pastor John and I uh, endeavor to enter into a relationship with each person and not a, a um, relationship that is uh, shallow but one that um, not invades their privacy, but it invades their spiritual uh, walk. Yeah. And so what we uh, intend to do and endeavor to do is to develop them uh, through uh, every and through all means necessary uh, that has to do with the with the love of God and the heart of God. Yeah. So agape would be the most incredible name that God could ever send into the earth uh, for someone to be developed and groomed under because it's unconditional love. And that is what makes uh, agape time, uh, Pastor Casey, so uh, incredible. I'm just so delighted uh, every morning when I awaken uh, that the Lord has chose me and Pastor John to walk with these most incredible people, even like someone as yourself and my daughter here, Cassandra, who is with us. But agape means unconditional. So people don't have to feel like they have to do things uh, to make things happen or to make people love them. But God is going to birth out through us each uh, area uh, that uh, and each flow and each stream of their ministry. Uh, he's going to give us to show them how to walk that out. 
Yeah, you know, um, just the, the ministry that God has given you and Pastor John, um, I've, I've never seen a ministry like it before. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I, I think your ministry is very unique. And I want to just kind of put things into context to those that may be watching and those that may be hearing. Um, the way how I describe Agape Time Ministries just from my interaction with you is that it's a training ground yes. for leaders. Mm -hmm. And Inspired Overflow listeners and viewers, I just want to tell you the experience that Pastor um, Al and I had with Agape Time mm -hmm. Ministries these past six months. Um, many of y'all, mm -hmm. y'all know that me and Pastor Al, we launched City Reach Church six mm -hmm. months ago. Um, and anytime you're building a church up from the ground, guess what? You need leaders. Yes. You need people. You need a praise team. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you need uh, you need um, servants. You, you just need yes. help. And Agape Time Ministries, um, Pastor Pam and Pastor John, they came beside me and Pastor Al to serve as our covering. But they mm -hmm. also sent a praise and worship team as mm -hmm. missionaries to our yes. church plant in the city. Um, and for six months, they led worship. Um, and so they have cultivated these leaders to get to the point where they were able to serve and to just lead us into worship. And it was truly a beautiful thing. Um, and I think it was just really a demonstration of kingdom. Yes, it was. Kingdom. And um, mm -hmm. just how you and Pastor John have poured into leaders so that they were able and in a position to do that. And, you know, they had the heart. Mm -hmm. It wasn't about, you know being a showmanship or anything, but mm -hmm. it was just the heart of God. And so I just want to publicly thank you and Pastor oh, John um, for you. for covering me and Pastor Al, yeah. you know, as new pastors. So we appreciate you and, and we love you. And um, so let's talk about this upcoming, mm. upcoming conference called the Awakening of Devorah. Ah. Tell us a little bit about why, because you do these Tell us, you do these daughter's retreats every year. Mm -hmm. Why did God give you this vision of doing a daughter's retreat every year? Oh, my goodness. Okay, the short of it. <laughs> the short of it is, is that uh, the Lord uh, gave me uh, these daughters, and it, they just kind of like came from out of nowhere. Uh, even though it was prophesied to me, it felt that it came from no. Mm -hmm from just nowhere. And so uh, the Lord gave to me to bring these women together yearly. And they're all daughters, but then they usually always bring someone with them. And so that's how the Daughters Retreat came about. And it was for to inspire them and to give them a download of what the coming year looked like. And to also a retreat style, even though it's done in a church, it's done retreat style because it's five days. Uh, because it is a pouring in, it is a pouring out, uh, it is love, it is sisterhood, uh, it is um, the most incredible thing that it is to me is that is a spiritual daughter gets to feel what it's truly like to have a spiritual mother that really has your back if that's the best way I could put it, that really is there for you, to, to pray for you, to cry with you, to, to uh, someone that's went before you. So this Daughter's Retreat also gives you vision. It gives you purpose, and it, bring it brings it into focus. So that's why all these daughters are called in. And then the Lord gives me the, the assignment topic every year for where the women are are going to be within six months, sometimes within the week that they leave, the Lord has, through the Spirit, shifted them into this moment. Mm -hmm. And so uh, so even with this theme that we have now, the topic is uh, the awakening of Deborah. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, just look at that. The awakening. Oh, my God. So now he's saying that I'm waking up these daughters that have been asleep. Wow. They've been asleep on who they are. And we all have at many levels. So when I'm having this um, uh, daughter's retreat, even though it's for daughters, you know, I've been prophesied, you need to have one for mothers now. But the thing is, is that as much as it's for them, it's for me too. Yeah. Because the Lord had to so beautifully align me into this position where I had the capacity to carry all of these daughters. Because it is not something that you just do because you wake, you just wake up one morning and say, I'm going to have daughters. No, you got to really walk and birth them out and love them out. Yeah. 
Yeah. Love them out. You know, that's like a whole other show. Mm-hmm. We we need to have a conversation about yes. that. Yes. About yes. Uh, yes. birthing yes. out daughters. Yes. And I love how you said that, you know, you have to have the capacity. Mm-hmm. You have to have the capacity and the ability to handle the increase. Mm-hmm. And you have you have many, many daughters. Yes. Um, God has called you and Pastor John to millennials. Yes. So and I love that the title of this conference is, you know, the awakening of Devorah. And your scripture comes from Judges five and 12 and I looked that up and it says wake up wake up mm. Deborah wake <laughs> up wake up break out in song and so I'm just encouraging you if you're watching this you're listening to this and you want to know who you are you feel like God is calling you to do some things but you're just feeling yourself that you're just kind of stuck I'm encouraging you to come out to this conference the awakening of Deborah is taking place March the 21st through the 25th. It's going to be located at Agape Time Ministries, which is located at 2280 North Waterford Drive in Saint in Florissant, Missouri, Saint, mm-hmm. the St. Louis area. You know, Pastor Pam, I mentioned this um, before we went on air a couple of weeks ago mm-hmm. that I have attended every daughter's retreat ever since I've known you, yes. right? Which was a couple of years ago. So you guys, I've made the commitment to go to these retreats and I have been blessed. And Cassandra, um, I know, and Pastor Pam, you know, mm-hmm. was just talking about, well, first, you're a spiritual daughter. How has your life been impacted through the connection with having Pastor Pam as your mom? It mm-hmm. was it was one of the significant missing pieces in my life spiritually. And um, I love the way the Lord illustrated uh, the connection before the connection was made mm-hmm. a few years ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, we were at an event, a ministry engagement. I was, t- For me, it was totally spontaneous. I ended up ministering uh, in a prophetic dance at a ministry, and she happened to be in the audience. Now, I had been praying and seeking for years a real spiritual mother, mm-hmm. like somebody mm-hmm. who gets me, who mm-hmm. understands me, who's for me, and who challenged me to come up in areas mm-hmm. that I needed to come up in. And they do it in such a way where there's love, it's not brassy. But don't get me wrong, she's a sharpshooter. Mm-hmm. And so I can handle that, and I, re- and I receive that. But she always gives love, no matter what. So you don't even know you're getting cut, because it feels like a touch. <laughs> but, and not to say that she cuts me yeah. It, on, mm. on anything like that, we haven't had that mm. kind of rapport with each other. Mm. But she, but she does have that right. Mm-hmm. I give her that right as a daughter, um, and it was like for me, you know how there's a, a clarion call, there's a pulling, there's a hearing that you you hear and you're seeking for that voice. And God literally connected us before we were connected to one another, before the foundation of the world. Mm-hmm. And so I'm so proud of who she is. She loves each and every one of us so distinctively that you can't be jealous. You can't be intimidated. Mm-hmm. You can't be, uh, if anything, we're, we're like, why want more? Yeah. And yet mm-hmm. she gives more and yet we uh, allow her to be who she is. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm so honored. My ears mm-hmm. are like burning. I'm so honored that God chose uh, you to be my spiritual mother mm-hmm. that I trust with my life. Yeah. I mm-hmm. trust you. With who I, I trust you. Who I am, with who oh, I am. Really God. Yeah, so thank beautiful. you. Mm-hmm. And and her and Pastor John, they they create that kind of environment where you can just be who you are, how you are, and they love you to the place of where they know God wants you to be. Yeah. We're joined in the studio with Pastor Pamela Dillon and Cassandra and their spiritual mom and spiritual daughter. And they're here to talk about the awakening of Devorah, an upcoming conference that is taking place in Forest, Missouri, the St. Louis region, March the 21st through the 25th. And now this is something I got a call to action. What I want you to do is I want you to register for this conference. It's $65. It is five days of impartation and fellowship. If you got to take off work, I I really feel like you need to do that. Okay. Take a couple of vacation days and invest in yourself and just invest in getting in the presence of God. Now you can register for this conference at Agape Time Ministries.com. Now, Pastor Pam, let's talk about this conference. One of the things that I've come to understand with you is that God gives you a big vision. You don't just do a conference like one day, have a couple of speakers, <laughs> but you you have like a whole kind of like lineup. Yes. So let's go with, let's talk about what's going to happen that Wednesday on March the 21st 
with your speaker, Angela Walton. Oh, night. yes. Angela yes. Walton is from Oklahoma City, and uh, she is a, a reverend. And the beauty of it is that the Lord allows me uh, to bring all denominations in, all walks, all genres of people. And so Angela, uh, Angela is a entrepreneur and also a uh, minister. So she is, and, and then she's very comical. Oh my God, she's she so is. comical. <laughs> and so she is just going to start it off right, you know. Yes. Um, but she's very uh, hard hitting uh, in, with truth. And so she's the right person to start it off. And then uh, what the Lord has also added is called awakened moments. Yes. And so this awakened moment, the person that's going to be uh, teamed up with her is First Lady uh, Lillian Franks. Okay. Uh, and she is um, going to come and give us like this power punch of a woke moment when she woke up. Okay. Oh. Ooh. Yes. I like that. Yeah. So that's what's going to be going on Wednesday. Okay, and so then Thursday. Oh, my goodness, then Thursday. Now, this is one of my spirit. Now, Angela's a spiritual daughter, too. I just obtained her last year. But uh, this next one, Thursday, is, oh, my doll baby, uh, elderly Andrea Green. And guess what she's going to be talking about, Pastor Casey? What? Millennial moms. Millennial is that moms. wild or what? Is that something? Moms. Yeah, that's what, that's, what, that's what the Lord said to give her. Moms. And so she's going to be talking about that. And um, and then, uh, so, you know, she's a heavy hitter, very prophetic. Uh, she, she has a breakthrough type of anointing. Yes. So things are going to be broken off of women that second night. Uh, and then who's teamed up with her is First Lady Tiffany Martin Woo! of the Live Church. Oh, my goodness. Wow. So she's going to come, and she's quite the lady. <laughs> oh! She's the lady. So if you don't know how to be a lady after Miss Tiff get yes. finished with you, you will know how to present as a lady. So she's Thursday. So her, uh, um, Leandria and then Tiffany. Those two are Thursday. Okay, so we got Wednesday, we got Thursday, mm -hmm. and then like Friday, you got an a.m. session and a p.m. session. So uh, tell us a little bit about that. Yes, I mean, that's this is what we say, uh, Minister Cassandra, pack your lunch. Pack your lunch. Even though we're going to have some lunch for you, but you might want to pack your you lunch. You might want to. And get you some padded clothes because you're going to go down. You're going to go down. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to go down. Man. So Under. that morning um, is Pastor Mickey King. <gasps> who's one of my besties, and she uh, is going to have your Work Your Life workshop. And she's going to have her spiritual daughter with her, Daphne. Okay. Yes, and so Daphne uh, is going to, uh, with her, they're going to team up, and they're going to present the Work Your Life. Then, uh, also, one of my spiritual daughters out of the house is Minister Shirell oh, Wooten uh, so Wells. Cool. Amen. I gave her a pre-married name, right. uh, Shirell Wells. And so she she's, she's like coming out of the gate because wow. I always like to give my uh, daughters thank you Lord I'm sometimes I get emotional yeah. sorry yeah. I always like to give them something big to do to shoot them out of the yes. gate that they've yes. never done before yeah so this is her coming out you know and I just feel like we could just speak a just a just park right there because I believe that you know God is going to do just a wonderful mm -hmm. thing he's already doing something great in our life right yes. now yes but after yes. this conference, she's going to really begin to see who she is in the Lord. And I just Amen. believe that there's going to be a, a breakout mm -hmm. for her. Um, just And so I just thank God for your sensitivity for giving her this moment. And, and so, she's so powerful. Yeah. I yeah. mean, she's yeah. already powerful because of where she's been and who she's been under. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's been one of those daughters, very few daughters who've had the, the real distinct honor. It's an honor to be able to be in the home, yes. living with them, mm -hmm. uh, being able to soak up what it looks like to have a healthy marriage and healthy family. Yeah. So she, in her own right, is a phenomenal. But after this, yes. it's going to be a wrap. Oh, be Minister a Shireen wrap. is going to explode. Awake, mm -hmm. awake. And that was just the morning. Wow. I mean, you know, that was just the morning. The evening is, oh, my God, one of my besties. <laughs> I mean, you know, my maid of honor. Wow. Oh, my God. Oh my. Uh, Apostle Alinda Jackson, and if you've ever experienced her, which I believe you yes. have, Pastor Casey, yes. over the years, oh my God, she's governmental. Mm -hmm. I mean, and she really is in the government, you know, uh, in her uh, state in Oklahoma. And so she's going to be Friday night keynote speaker. And then look at this it is going to be First Lady Chanel Lee. Yeah. Oh my wow. God, she's going to talk about the moment she woke up. Yeah. 
Oh, oh my wow. God! I mean, it's incredible. Yeah, it's incredible. That's Friday. This is this is a this is a, a wonderful lineup, you guys. Mm -hmm. We're encouraging you to register for the Awakening of Devora, a conference that is hosted by Agape Time Ministries. Pastor Pam, she is the host. It's the Daughters Retreat mm -hmm. 2018. Registration is sixty five dollars right now. One of the things about this uh, conference is you cannot register at the at the door. It's not a it's not an open door event where you can just come in for the evening sessions you have to be registered and the reason why is because mm -hmm. this conference is for women that are serious you want to mm -hmm. invest in where God is taking you you're willing to put some skin in the game okay mm -hmm. so it's not just for a bystander it's not mm -hmm. going to be on Facebook but you need to to make the commitment and say God I'm going to be there and God will supply God will supply. Mm -hmm. So you can register at agapetimeministries.com. So we talked about what's happening Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. There's an a.m. session and a p.m. session, which is why I was like, take off work if you can. <laughs> take off, a, take a vacation day. Now let's talk about Saturday. And now Saturday is going to, I'm going to try not to cry. You know, I'm just, that, that, that's how you can tell I'm a mama. Yes. <laughs> is that now we have my spiritual daughter, uh, Eris. Uh, Mumbuni coming all the way from Cameroon, Africa wow. to do Saturday morning and she's going to do uh, the prophetic uh, piece of it. And so she's going to be doing a prophetic prayer uh, that'll last for two hours and then you will get personal words. So she's coming all the way from Africa to do this. So you want to be there for that. So that's Saturday morning. And then um, also, um, I guess Saturday evening, I'll leave that for Cassandra to talk about. But uh, Eris, Eris, Prophetess Eris yes. will be here. She is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. And she is, has such a clear voice of hearing God. So she's not... I mean, this woman is a heavy hitter in the spirit realm. Wow. Uh, you know anybody come out of Africa, they, yes. they read it. Yes. But she's on, she on a whole other dimension, um, yes, prophetically. She mm -hmm. really is. Uh, so, yes, you will have an accurate word from the Lord. And you need that direction. Mm -hmm. You need to know what God is saying for you specifically in this season of your life. And not take that lightly. Because mm -hmm. you hear the word season of my life. Season. Of, no, you really need to know that there is a season. And this is a Kairos moment for women who want to be awakened, who want to have their voice, who want to be heard, and want to be known by the Spirit yeah. and known by man. Yeah. Okay, so with that being said, we are launching, and this came out of Moms, tell them how it came out. Oh, moms, yeah. tell them. Okay. Okay. All righty. The, 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 what she's getting ready to talk about with the magazine, this came about because of having all these daughters mm -hmm. that needed to be connected. And so uh, the credit, besides God, has to go to Pastor Mickey King wow. because yes. she kept saying, Pammy, I travel the world. I travel all the state. And I've never seen this type of mother-daughter connection where a mother really pour, pours into the daughters and they really are developed and they really do go out, you know. Uh, and so she says, you've got to find a way that this needs to be global. You have to make this global. So the short of it is, is that as soon as she said that, I heard the magazine that we had been talking about for years, but this was the Kairos time to do it. And so this magazine is all about them. It's all about the daughters and to connect them all around the world. Wow. And the magazine is something that's very unique. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we deal with real life relationships and issues, mm -hmm. uh, inner healing. Uh, we even deal with the natural side of things like the entertainment industry and food and health and wellness and beauty. Mm -hmm. But it's a different twist. This is not your average magazine. So we're launching this for the first time this year, and we're going to have a phenomenal gala, or, or gala? Is something called gala? <laughs> gala, gala. 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 Because I like the way it sounds. Shiny, like sparkly. Sparkly, shiny. And this is going to be a nice <laughs> after five evening, and we're very high scale. Uh, the ambiance is going to be set. Uh, we have a legendary, uh, I see him as a legendary, um, Minister Samus of the Lord, Jonathan Jefferson, one of St. Louis' finest. And from what I can understand, he's like the John Legend of the kingdom. <laughs> He, yes. has, he has a beautiful voice. He has an mm -hmm. amazing voice. Yeah, and so he's voice. going to be a part of that lineup. And we're going to unveil the um, the, the launching of the magazine, Devorah. And we're also taking pre-orders 
for the magazine. This is going to be a all year round uh, okay. magazine, and we're going to do the unveiling of it. So we're so excited mm -hmm. about that. But make sure you come dressed, suited, and booted. Uh, it'll be a nice. Uh, 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 this is not going to be churchy. Mm -hmm. Praise God. It's mm -hmm. not going to be churchy. But mm -hmm. it's going to be kingdom. Yes. And it's going to be kingdom entertainment. So there's going to be dancing. Mm -hmm. There's going to be uh, incredible food. And just a, a great uh, moment of engagement with the unveiling of the Devora magazine. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to be hosting it along with Ariana Cheers, who's my sidekick yes. in Holy Ghost. She wasn't here this time, but she was here before. And so she's phenomenal. And just the whole team. So you get a chance to experience what this magazine is really about and how we brought it together and how it's literally day one is an international magazine. It's like Oprah magazine mm -hmm. and um, uh, uh, Joyce Myers mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> come together mm -hmm. and bam, mm -hmm. we got Pamela K. Dillon to just seals it all together. Awesome. So it's going to be phenomenal. Awesome. And awesome. it's just going to be such a unique experience. And that's going to be Saturday night, 6 p.m. And it's going to be located at the Arcade Lofts downtown very uh, upscale uh, uh, venue at 800 Olive Street, downtown St. Louis Arcade Loft Apartments. Six o'clock, be there. So your ticket to the gala is included in your registration for $65. So you're getting all of these power-packed speakers, impartation, and you, you get to put on an evening gown and, and go to a gala. You're getting lunch. You're, you're, getting, you're getting so much for your value. So we're just encouraging you to go to agapetimeministries.com pay your registration and don't come by yourself. Bring a friend. And to wrap things up that uh, Sunday, tell us about that service. Yes. Tell now me. Sunday, okay. Tell I'm going to try not to get emotional, teary again. But this is the first time that my spiritual mother has ever been in the daughter's retreat. She usually likes uh, Skypes or something like that. But the Lord said she needed to be at this one. And um, she said yes right away and left her schedule open to be there. And her name is um, Pastor Blanche Washington, mm -hmm. and she's from Oklahoma City. And so um, Mother Blanche, oh, my goodness, she is this lady. I think she is Jesus' uh, little cousin, <laughs> as you would say. Oh, my God. It's like she just sits in his lap. I mean, she is such the revelator and a sweetheart. And she has a heart for women as well. So she's going to close this out on Sunday. Uh, and then also uh, a daughter, Monique, uh, which everyone knows Monique Renee, uh, one of our uh, daughters, uh, because of her psalmist. But you'll get to experience her in her ministry of teaching. Wow. And so she's going to yes. do one of the woke moments. And anybody that knows her knows she's had a lot to go through in the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. So she'll be doing the woke moment. And then we have two psalmists. I didn't mention that uh, Melinda Baker will be one of our psalmists. I think she may be um, Thursday night. Uh, and then another spiritual daughter from Atlanta is Chai Matthias Reed. Uh, so she'll be our psalmist, I think, on Friday night. And so that kind of gives us the lineup for... Uh, yeah. So, you know it's what? a big one. It's, it's a yeah. big lineup. It's a big vision. Um, and we know that God moves very bigly. If yes. we want to use the word. I like that. A <laughs> bigly. bigly. That's that's like something we say. That's, the, that's the word of our, our president. Yes. <laughs> that's the word bigly. But, um, you know, God, God moves in, in a big way. And so it's my prayer that you are going to register for this conference. Go to agapetimeministries.com and register for the Awakening of Devora taking place March the 21st to the 25th at Agape Time Ministries, which is located at 2280 North Waterford Drive in Florissant, Missouri. You guys, we got two minutes left. Pastor Pam, any closing words that you mm -hmm. want to just share with the listeners and viewers? Well, I would say do not miss this Kairos fire moment in your life as a woman. And not that we are against men. Anybody that knows us knows that it has nothing to do with being against men. But it's all about you discovering yourself as a woman and what it is that the Lord has for you to do in this hour as a pioneer, a trailblazer, and a mover and a shaker.
Amen. Well, you've heard directly from the visionary of this conference inspired by the Holy Spirit. Don't miss this Kairos mm -hmm. moment. So we look forward to seeing you March the 21st through the 25th at the Awakening of Devorah. For more information, visit www.agapetimeministries.com. Thank you, Prophetess Pamela oh, Dillon and you. Cassandra. Thank you. <laughs>